on the trail today enjoying the beautiful weather. We ordered it especially for you. So uh, you. I hope you. you continue to enjoy yourself here today. Give a shout out to Mark for President of Chamber of Commerce. It's always good to see him around. Thank you. Lots of other wonderful folks here today making this day special, and especially the YSPD. resolution that was passed by the Yellow Springs Village Council. This makes it a very, very, very important document. And it is indeed because we're honoring a person who is heartfelt and critical to this, to the trail, to the Buckeye Trail, to all things bicycle, to all things two wheels, two feet, Moya Shea. So I'm going to read the proclamation, the resolution from the village government, because here today we are celebrating the fifth anniversary of Yellow Springs as a Buckeye Trail town and a bicycle-friendly community. So here we go, folks. Whereas, whereas, the village of Yellow Springs, and I, a lot of times I shorten these. I take out some of the whereases, I summarize things. But everything in here is important and significant, so I'm going to read every last word. You go, girl. Whereas, the village of Yellow Springs highly values the health, safety, environmental, economic, recreational, and other quality of life benefits of trail and of active transportation networks, highlighted by the active support exemplified here today. the village of Yellow Springs was dedicated a Buckeye Trail Town on April 27, 2017, recognizing our walkable community and hiking culture, which has been championed by iconic blue blazer, Moya Shea. Yay! Moya helped guide Ohioans and visitors as they navigated this 1,400-plus mile trail and whereas the village of yellow springs has been recognized by the league of america bicyclists as the 18th bicycle friendly community in ohio acknowledging that our town provides safe accommodations for bikes bicycling we're standing on one of them right now and encourages people to bike for transportation and recreation and delivering on our village values of being a welcoming community to people of all backgrounds and belief systems. And whereas the village council understands that trails create healthy, thriving communities, directing our planning and development efforts to deepen our resiliency and leading to the recent establishment of the YS Active Transportation Advisory Committee, and whereas the village team is driven by our complete streets policy and Yellow Springs active transportation plan to ensure safe, non-motorized transportation options for all ages and abilities, promoting equity, accessibility, and sustainability. Now, therefore, Village Council for the Village of Yellow Springs, Ohio, hereby resolves that Section one, the village of Yellow Springs will continue to promote and facilitate active transportation in its infrastructure investments, improving quality of life and ability to age in place for all residents. And section two, the village of Yellow Springs will continue to intentionally support walking, biking, and rolling through its involvement in development, events, and other activities. And section three, Village Council encourages community members to use non-motorized modes of transportation whenever possible to meaningfully combat climate change and will continue to improve walkability and bikeability, 
modeling best practices for the region, state, and the nation. We can do this because we are Yellow Springs. Signed, Brian Ausch, the president Chamber of our House council. Council. Thank you. Thus it is resolved. We both wear hats. We both wear hats. And we both wear many hats. Um, that's one of the things about Moya that I want to talk about is because she wore, wears many hats. I first met Moya when I, I chaired the Buckeye Trail the best here five years ago when we became a trail town and we had we filled up the Boy Scout camp down the road with, with a few hundred hikers. And I met Moya actually first at uh, over at Village Automotive. And she was wearing a Buckeye Trail shirt. And I said, "How come I don't know you?" <laughs> um, that quickly came to it came to an end. We, we, we we became acquainted pretty quickly. And I found out about Moya. I found out that, that Moya, if you turn around on that uh, telephone pole over there, you're gonna see a, see a six inch by two inch blaze. And I can guarantee you that Moya painted that. Um, yeah, that's what, and that's what people who remember Moya She'd arranged for some place for that through hiker to stay overnight, get their clothes washed, have a shower, and take a dinner. She was a true trail agent. So on behalf of the Buckeye Trail Association, sorry, I want to give Jason this, this plaque proclaiming her as an advocate, trail angel, and blazer um, for the, the world's longest loop trail at 1,400 plus miles around the state of Ohio, connecting Yellow Springs to the rest of the state. Someone mentioned two wheels, but you know I got to ride unicycles uh, at Antioch School. Yeah. So literally any type of vehicle that you might ride out here or anywhere around the village, uh, she would she would uh, definitely be happy with that. So please do so. Thank you. Thanks. He's in Indiana and Eric's in Columbus. But he asked if I would say a few words, and um, this is such a lovely ceremony. Wait, wait, wait. I, and, and who are you, Alex? Mayor of yeah. So right, let me take you to the podium. I, this, <laughs> really, this is a lovely ceremony. Uh, I knew Moya Shea as well as a, as a community member here in the village, and um, it's wonderful that she's being honored today. So I'll keep this really short and sweet. I just wanted to. Uh, I'm uh, Mayor Pam Canine's counterpart in the, the neighboring village to the east here, Village of Clifton, and uh, one of the projects that we have going as this trail right here, the Little Miami Trail, is something of the crown jewel to all of these Rails to Trails uh, programs. There's a lot of interest in, in, a lot of interest in connecting to it. And um, I am part of a project called Green Connect, and we're pursuing $24 million through the RAISE grant, which is uh, with uh, Pete Buttigieg's uh, Department of Transportation. And that's a multi-jurisdictional project with uh, the Village of Yellow Springs, Village of Clifton, Miami Township, Sugar Creek, and City of Xenia. Um, so that trail will connect uh, the train station right here as the trailhead to the Clifton Gorge via John Bryan State Park. Uh, that's something that uh, people have wanted, you know, visitors, but certainly residents uh, have wanted for a long time. And so we're going to continue to push this project forward. We're pursuing that grant money and we're pursuing the Clean Ohio again for half a million dollars. Uh, the state legislature of Ohio uh, helped kick this off a couple of years ago with $20,000 and we parlayed that into a little over 50 for the original design study um, and the feasibility study. We partnered with uh, the design group that Yellow Springs has, has used. So this is, this is a project that is, uh, is fusing a lot of people's talent and energy coming off of this project. The, um, the, uh, this trail. So just wanted to put that out there that that is something that we are continuing to pursue and will continue to pursue with local support in our partnership with the Village of Clifton and Miami Township. That's all I have to say. But again, thanks for, for having me. It's a lovely ceremony here. Yeah.